Imagine stepping into your backyard, a serene oasis filled with the vibrant colors and scents of nature. You reach out and pluck a sun-ripened papaya right from the tree, feeling its warmth from the sun in your hand. Now imagine that this fruitful tree barely reaches above your waist, making it easy to harvest without any hassle. Dwarf papaya trees make this dream a delicious reality for gardeners with limited space, offering a compact yet fruitful solution. These compact powerhouses offer the same sweet, juicy fruit as their taller counterparts, but in a fraction of the space, making them ideal for urban gardens. You can tuck them into containers on a sunny patio, where they can soak up the sun and thrive, or even grow them indoors with enough light, turning your living space into a green haven. Dwarf papayas are also known for their rapid growth and early fruiting, making them a rewarding choice for impatient gardeners. Some varieties can produce fruit within a year of planting, allowing you to enjoy fresh papayas sooner than you might expect. This means you won't have to wait long to enjoy the fruits of your labor, savoring the sweet taste of homegrown papayas. So if you're short on space but big on flavor, dwarf papaya trees are the perfect addition to your edible garden, bringing a tropical touch to even the smallest of spaces. With minimal care and attention, these trees will reward you with an abundance of fruit, making every bite a testament to your gardening success. Share the joy of gardening with your family, and let the dwarf papaya tree be a source of delicious memories and healthy treats for everyone. Want to duplicate your most prized papaya tree? Air layering lets you do just that. It's like taking a cutting but you're encouraging roots to grow while the branch is still attached to the mother plant. Here's how it works. You'll make a small wound on a healthy branch and surround it with moist sphagnum moss. The moss encourages the papaya tree to form new roots right there on the branch. Why choose air layering for papayas? It's a surefire way to get an exact replica of your favorite fruit-bearing tree. Plus, it's a fun and rewarding technique that any gardener can master. Before you start air layering, you need to choose the right branch on your papaya tree. Look for a healthy branch that is about 1 to 2 inches in diameter. The branch should be firm and free of any pests or diseases. Once you've selected your branch, it's time to prepare it for air layering. Using a clean, sharp knife make two parallel cuts around the circumference of the branch about an inch apart. These cuts should be just deep enough to penetrate the bark. Next, carefully peel away the bark between the two cuts. You want to remove a ring of bark about an inch wide. This exposed area is where the new roots will form. Now it's time to gather your air layering supplies. Don't worry, you won't need anything fancy. Here's what you'll need. Sphagnum moss. This is the key ingredient for air layering. It holds moisture and provides a perfect environment for root growth. Plastic wrap. This will be used to wrap the moss around the branch. Twist ties or string. These will secure the plastic wrap in place. Rooting hormone. Optional. While not essential, Rooting hormone can help speed up the rooting process. A spray bottle filled with water, you'll use this to keep the moss moist. You can find all of these supplies at your local garden center or online. Section 5. Air Layering Step-by-Step -step. With your prepped branch and supplies ready, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of air layering your papaya tree. This method is a fantastic way to propagate new plants from an existing one ensuring you get a healthy, mature tree much faster than starting from seeds. First, soak the sphagnum moss. This moss is crucial as it retains moisture around the branch, encouraging root growth. Submerge a handful of sphagnum moss in water for a few minutes until it's thoroughly moistened. Make sure the moss is fully saturated to provide the necessary moisture for the rooting process. Then squeeze out any excess water. You don't want it to be too wet, as this can lead to rot. You want the moss to be damp, not dripping wet, this balance is key to creating the perfect environment for root development. Next, apply rooting hormone if you're using it. Rooting hormone can significantly increase the chances of successful root formation. Now's the time to apply it. Carefully dust a small amount of the hormone onto the exposed area of the branch. Dust a small amount of hormone onto the exposed area of the branch where you remove the bark. This step is optional but highly recommended for better results. After that, wrap the moss. This is where the magic happens. Take a generous handful of the damp sphagnum moss and wrap it around the exposed area of the branch, completely covering the wound. Then, secure the moss. Make sure the moss is snug against the branch to maintain constant contact. Use plastic wrap to tightly wrap the moss around the branch, creating a sealed environment. 
This helps retain moisture and keeps the moss in place. Secure the plastic wrap in place with twist ties or string at both ends. This ensures the moss stays in contact with the branch and doesn't dry out. Lastly, keep it moist. Use your spray bottle to mist the moss every few days or whenever it feels dry to the touch. Consistent moisture is crucial for root development. The key is to keep the moss consistently moist but not waterlogged. Over the next few weeks, check regularly and mist as needed. With patience and care, you'll soon see new roots forming ready to be planted as a new tree. Section 6. Troubleshooting Common Air Layering Hiccups Air layering is generally a straightforward process, but even experienced gardeners encounter occasional hiccups. Here are a few common problems and how to solve them. Problem. The moss dries out too quickly. Solution. Wrap a layer of aluminum foil over the plastic wrap to help retain moisture. You can also try moving the layered branch to a shadier location. Problem. The moss becomes moldy or waterlogged. Solution. Carefully remove the plastic wrap and moss, allowing the branch to dry out for a day or two. Repack with fresh, damp sphagnum moss. Problem. No roots are forming after several weeks. Solution. Ensure the moss is consistently moist and the plastic wrap is tightly sealed. Consider using rooting hormone to encourage root development. Section 7. Rooting success signs your papaya is ready. Patience is key when it comes to air layering. It can take anywhere from a few weeks to a couple of months for roots to develop. Here are a few telltale signs that your air layering efforts have been successful. You see roots growing through the plastic wrap. This is the most obvious sign that your papaya cutting is ready to be potted up. The moss is filled with a dense network of roots. Gently unwrap the plastic to check for root development. New growth appears above the air layered section. This indicates that the cutting is thriving and producing its own food. Section 8. Planting your air layered papaya. Once your air layered papaya has developed a healthy root system, it's time to separate it from the mother plant and pot it up. Carefully remove the plastic wrap and moss from the branch. Using sharp clean pruning shears, cut the branch just below the newly formed roots. Choose a pot that is slightly larger than the root ball of your new papaya plant. Fill the pot with a well-draining potting mix. Gently place the papaya cutting in the pot, making sure the roots are covered with soil. Water your newly potted papaya thoroughly and place it in a shady location for a week or two to allow it to acclimate to its new environment. Section 9. Caring for your new papaya tree. Congratulations on your new papaya tree. This guide will help you ensure it grows healthy and strong. Now that your air-layered papaya is settled into its new home, it's time to provide it with the care it needs to thrive. Proper care is essential for the tree to flourish and bear delicious fruit. Light papayas need plenty of sunlight to grow and produce fruit. They thrive best in full sun, so make sure they get ample light. Place your potted papaya in a location that receives at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight each day. If you live in a region with limited sunlight, consider using grow lights to supplement natural light. Water. Water your papaya regularly, keeping the soil evenly moist but not soggy. Consistent watering is key to prevent stress and promote healthy growth. Papayas are susceptible to root rot, so it's important to avoid overwatering. Ensure the pot has good drainage to prevent water from accumulating at the bottom. Fertilizer. Feed your papaya every two weeks during the growing season with a balanced water-soluble fertilizer. This will provide the necessary nutrients for robust growth and fruit production. Protection papayas are tropical plants and are sensitive to cold temperatures. They thrive in warm climates and can suffer if exposed to frost. If you live in an area with cold winters, you'll need to bring your papaya indoors or provide it with some form of winter protection. Consider using a greenhouse or wrapping the plant to shield it from the cold. With the right care, your papaya tree will reward you with delicious fruit and lush foliage. Section 10. Harvesting the Reward Sweet Homegrown Papaya One of the most rewarding aspects of growing your own food is enjoying the fruits, or in this case, papayas, of your labor. Depending on the variety, dwarf papayas typically begin to produce fruit within 6 to 12 months of planting. The fruit is ready to harvest when the skin turns from green to yellow or orange. Gently twist the papaya from the stem to harvest. Ripe papayas can be stored at room temperature for a few days or in the refrigerator for up to a week. Section 11. Air layering, a gateway to gardening confidence. 
Air layering your papaya tree is a rewarding experience that can boost your gardening confidence and open up a world of possibilities. Once you've mastered this technique, you can try it on other plants like figs, magnolias, and even some types of citrus trees. Remember, gardening is a journey of learning and experimentation, so go ahead and give air layering a try. You might be surprised at what you can